Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are at CC Cycle 3, week 16. Starting with math, we are learning the area of a rectangle. And we're going to sing this to the tune of 99 bottles. And the area of a rectangle equals the length times the width. And it sounds like this. <clears throat> The area of a rectangle equals length times width. So area is everything that's, that covers the surface, okay? So all of this red portion where I have this writing would be the area. And the area equals length times width. Once again, the, sound, the tune sounds like the area of a rectangle equals length times width. The area of a rectangle equals length times width. And that is our tune for this week. That will be combining for the next three weeks to do all the geometry um, area for this, the rectangle, the triangle, and the square. And we'll put that tune together, all together at the end. So that's math. For English, we have to go. And for this, we went through all of the verb tenses and we went from slow to fast as we chanted them together in class. You can do that at home, however you like as well. But it is to go, go, goes, went, going, and gone. So we went, we walked around really slow. Go, goes, went, going, gone. Go, goes, went, going, gone. Go, goes, went, going, gone. And um, just get faster and faster as you go. That is English. For history, tell me about the United States and World War I. In 1917, we're going to do the sign for 17. So in 1917, President, sign for President is take your hands like this and go like this. President Wilson asked Congress. So Congress is a C. You take it from one side to the other. Ask Congress to enter World War I. So WW1. Against the Central Powers, we're going to put our hands up like this for powers, two years after German U-boats. For U-boats, you just make the sign of a boat that we've been using in the timeline, and you just go under the water. So after German U-boats sank the Lusitania, the Lusitania, we're going to make an L and go down with it like it's sinking, okay? Sank the Lusitania and then um, killing American citizens. And this is the sign for American. Okay, so in 1917, President Wilson asked Congress to enter World War I against the Central Powers two years after German U-boats, and we're gonna do U-boats, sank the Lusitania, killing American citizens. Okay, Latin, John chapter one, and we're still on verse three. So um, it's, and without him was made nothing that was made. And in Latin, it's, et sine ipso factum est, nihil quod factum est. Okay, so, and without him was made nothing that was made in Latin, et sine ipsum factum est, nihil quod factum est. Okay, uh, you can repeat that a few times. Try doing it in English and then reversing with a partner, and then you do it in Latin the next time around. And that is Latin. For timeline, we have the age of industry. Age of industry, move our hands like this. Then we have James Cook, make a J, and a C, or you could just do the J. James Cook sails to Australia and Antarctica. Okay, then we have the American Revolution. So we're going to take an R, two R's, American Revolution, and we turn them like this to do revolution. American Revolution and General George Washington. This is the sign for general. Take your hands like this and pull them off of your shoulder. And General George Washington. Then we have Madison's, make an M with your finger, Madison's Constitution and the Bill of Rights, okay? And then French Revolution, the sign for French is make an F and turn it around. So French Revolution, same sign with the two R's, French Revolution and the second 
Great Awakening. And the last one is the Louisiana Purchase. Put your hand out like this, like you're purchasing something. And the Lewis and Clark Expedition. So you're looking and then you're pointing off in a distance, okay? Lewis and Clark Expedition. That is timeline. For geography, we have the USA Bays. So they are, I have them pointed out here in um, purple, in the purple arrows. And so I will walk through them. We have the uh, Hudson Bay here on top, Chesapeake Bay right in here. Then we have the Pamlico Sound. And then over here, we have the Puget Sound and the San Francisco Bay. And we sing this to the tune of Down by the Bay. And it sounds like this. USA Bays, Hudson Bay, Chesapeake Bay, San Francisco Bay, the Puget Sound, the Pamlico Sound. These are the bays, the USA Bays, oh, the bays. USA Bays, the Hudson Bay, Chesapeake Bay, San Francisco Bay, the Puget Sound, Pamlico Sound. These are the bays, USA Bays, oh, the bays. And that is our geography. All right, last but not least, we have science. For science, we are learning the first four elements on the periodic table. So what are the first four elements in the periodic table by number, element, symbol, and mass? And we're going to sing this to the tune of I'm in the Lord's Army. And so, um, first of all, let's review what they are. We have one hydrogen, H1, two helium, HE4. This is the mass down here. And then we have three lithium, Li7, 6.9, rounded up, rounded up is seven. And the last one is four beryllium BE9. And it sounds like this. What are the first four elements in the periodic table? By number, element, symbol, and by mass. One hydrogen, H1. Two helium, HE4. Three lithium, Li7. Four beryllium, BE9. Okay, one more time. What are the first four elements in the periodic table? By number, element, symbol, and by mass. One hydrogen, H1. Two helium, HE4. Three lithium, Li7. Four beryllium, BE9. And that is our science. I hope that's helpful. That was a little bit choppy on my song, but you can kind of make up what that would have been. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, see you next time, week 17. Bye.